This one is from the Daily Beast, and I don't want to just blame it on the Daily Beast because they're not the only ones that do it. Everybody and their brother has an article that will say something to the effect of, oh my goodness, the rom-com is dead. Oh, by the way, I hate the expression rom-com. You can't just say romantic comedy. It's two little words. What's wrong with you? It's kind of like saying OMG in a conversation instead of actually going, oh, my God, or oh, my goodness. Did that really happen somewhere along the line in our society? We can't speak in full sentences or full words any longer. Pretty soon, our conversations are going to be like this. Z, M, D, F. Really? F? Oh, sorry, you used an entire word. Get out of the group. But according to this article, the romantic comedy is completely dead. And even Meg Ryan, romantic comedy superwoman, can't save it. Okay, first of all, you can't put it all on Meg Ryan's shoulders. That's like blaming cable news for the country being so divided. Okay, bad example. But you can't put it on her shoulder. And the romantic comedy is not dead. It evolved like every other category of movies since there have been movies. Action movies, thrillers, comedy, suspense, sci-fi, western, drama, horror, fantasy, all of them have evolved because the same type of action, thriller, romantic comedy that worked in the 1960s or 70s or 80s or 90s doesn't work now. The world has changed. Did you notice? People change. Audiences are more sophisticated. It's everything has to evolve. Here, think about it this way. These movies, all of which were very successful, very popular when they came out, Working Girl, Melanie Griffith, Harrison Ford, Arthur, Dudley Moore, Liza Minnelli, I loved that, it cracked up, Splash, Tom Hanks, Daryl Hannah, Moonstruck, Cher, Nicolas Cage, When Harry Met Sally, Meg Ryan, Billy Crystal, all of them very popular, all of them with A-list people, but you know what? I'm not sure if any of them would do that well in the theater today. That's because they have to evolve the romantic comedy into something else. They actually already have. They've evolved it into The Spy Who Dumped Me. Mila Kunis, Kate McKinnon. I love her. Her characters are genius. Jane Curtin and Paul Reiser as the parents. I loved them. Mila Kunis is actually having a romance with two different people, but there's bullets flying and stuff is blowing up and there's car chases. And that's the kind of movie that's on top right now. The action, exciting, blow stuff up, car chasing, bullets flying, people dying is funny to most audiences today. Killers. Ashton Kutcher, Katherine Heigl, Tom Selleck, Katherine O'Hara. She was brilliant in that, too. Who's the spy? Who's the hitman? Oh, wait a minute. They all are, for crying out loud. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, starring America's favorite couple. <laughs> Same thing. My mom's new boyfriend, Meg Ryan, Antonio Banderas, Colin Hanks. Genius. All of that, regardless of what the critics say. And by the way, let's go ahead and address the critics. How old are they? Do they like it when two people just sit in a room and have a conversation and grow together? Or would they rather just see stuff blowing up? Have they lived long enough to where they've had a lot of life experiences? And so they can relate to two people just sitting there having a conversation, slowly getting to know one another, right? Nah, they haven't, okay? So that's why you end up with, with uh, what is it, Rotten Tomatoes and, and Metacritic and IMDb. And I'm not blaming those guys. They're just aggregates. But you get all these critics together saying, oh, that sucked. First of all, here's what I think of most people's opinion. <laughs> There's an old saying. It's about a, an opinion being similar to a body part and the fact that everybody has one and most of them stink. okay. That's why you have to remember everything changes. Everything evolves. The romantic comedy is not dead. It's just different. It's called Red Notice. Gal Gadot, Ryan Reynolds, Dwayne Johnson. You didn't even know that there was a romance going on until later on in that movie. It was damn funny. Bullets were flying. Everything blew up. Stuff got stolen. People died. And I laughed. The romantic comedy is not dead. It's evolved. Maybe you should try it too.